Hello and welcome to Sufi Leaf Designs. Today's video is another video on a piece that I made for my latest exhibition which was Elements of Nature. For this one I'm using potpourri for the nature elements and embedding them in the resin. So all I've done here is I've just painted the background black and then I've just added some sparkle pigment to um, a touch of black pigment and mix the two together to get this dark colour. I'll, as always, I'll leave a description of the products used um, below. And then this is the sparkle pigment as is with no black added to it, so I'm sort of just blending those two colours together. And then just wipe it into the centre. Next I've just mixed the, up a little bit of orange pigment in the resin and that's going to be the glow in the centre which I'm going to use a heat gun to blow it out from the centre to just blend those colours just slightly. So we still want to be able to see the glitter but we want to create almost like a sunset effect in the centre of the resin board. So I'm just gently blowing that out to the outer edges. And I'm also going to blow from the outside in, just so that we've got a nice blend between the colours and that the orange is not too dominating in the centre. So we're just moving some of that darker colour back into the centre, just to give it a little bit more added interest. So at this stage I felt it wasn't quite moving the way I wanted it to, so just I've added a little bit of mineral turpentine into a cup and I'm just applying that with a stick. Now the reason why I use mineral turpentine is really good for moving the resin without having to do a great deal with it but also it evaporates so you doesn't so although you can see divots in there in the resin now it because it evaporates it doesn't cure like that it cures with a nice smooth finish so that's why I like to use mineral turpentine. And what I'm doing here now is I've just added a, a touch of gold spray paint into a cup and then just using again using a stick with a touch of mineral turpentine in there and just dragging that through just to give some extra gold highlights when the light hits it from different angles you'll see the shimmer of the gold. Apologies for the fan sound in the background it's quite warm here in Western Australia at the moment so my fan on my computer kicks in quite quite quickly this time of year so apologies for that. So next what I'm doing here is I've got some potpourri that I've coated in a clear layer of resin. I've also added a tiny little bit of the sparkle pigment to this just to give it a little bit of extra sparkle when the light hits it and now all I'm doing here is just sprinkling the potpourri around to create the shape. And I'm pretty much letting the potpourri do be its own design element and I'm not putting a great deal of thought into this other than I'm just making it look a little bit like a tree. So once again there's not a great deal to this um, resin piece. I like to keep things relatively simple. For me um, less is more so I try not to overwork it and do too much to it and just let the the pieces in there speak for themselves. So if you like this video and would like to see more resin ideas then please subscribe to my channel or better still go and browse my other videos. I have plenty of other videos to keep you inspired. So until next time, bye for now.